everyone. Thank you so much for joining. My name is Shannon Johnson and I am with Journey Home Realty and I am joined today with Bonnie and Skip from SMB Photography. Thank you both so much for joining me today. So guys, I just have to jump right in. I must know, how did you end up here in Hampton Roads? <laughs> Do you want me to start? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm originally from Pittsburgh. It's far away from Hampton Roads. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 400 miles, approximately. Um, I came here for a job. Wow. Yeah. My, uh, my position in Pennsylvania was eliminated, and we decided that uh, we would just look everywhere, and somewhere hopefully that snow was either optional or non-existent. That's fair, because Pittsburgh, it's a little cold there. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we had four seasons. Almost winter, winter, still winter in construction. <laughs> and uh, That sounds very pleasant in the summer. Yeah, very pleasant. Yeah, yeah. Well, to make a long story short, uh, ended up here, uh, started out as a contractor at the shipyard, and then moved to Jefferson Lab, and retired from there after 21 years. And uh, that's, here, here I am. Here you are. Here I am. Yeah, Skip. Well, uh, the military brought me here technically three times. And uh, the last time I decided to stay because I had a big family. My family was all here, or most of them were. The rest of them have moved back since. So I have a very large family in this area, and I enjoy it here. And uh, I just stayed. I love it. Um, being that we both retired from the Air Force, and, you know, the Air Force brought us back here twice. So I can understand the appeal to want to stay and put your roots down here. All right, so let's talk about what made you guys decide to get into photography, since that is why we are here, is your photography business. Hmm. Well, in 1970, uh, 1970, yes, I said yeah, that. Yeah, you did say 70, <laughs> yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. um, I was given a uh, completely manual uh, film camera as a Christmas present by my brother-in-law, and um, I fell in love. <laughs> so... After that, despite life intervening and, and all that kind of thing, uh, being a, a technical person with science jobs, and you know, I kept doing photography um, as a hobby, as a, a very strong hobby, but just kept doing photography and doing photography. And uh, my late husband and I did photography together we discovered digital photography and did it together. And toward the end, he was not, he was pretty sick. He was not feeling well. So we put, kind of put the camera away. And after he died, I brought it out again as a way to keep busy. And it took over my life. <laughs> <laughs> In a good way, of course. In a good way. In a good way. In a yeah. very good way, actually. And I joined a photography club and I met Skip in the photography club. And here we are today. <laughs> and here we are. Here we are. And then we insert Skip. Skip, how did you get into photography? A couple of years ago when I was in high school, I, uh, <laughs> I was on the yearbook I like staff. how you said a couple of years ago when it you were in high couple. school. So last year when he was in high school. <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite last year. It was a couple of years before that. But anyway, uh, I, was on, I, was, I remember I was on the yearbook staff. And uh, when I graduated from high school, I went into the military. Mm -hmm. Started traveling and started saying, "Hey, I, you know, I need to record some of this." So that was back in the film days, and I was taking pictures. Uh, later in the military, about the late '60s, I uh, I did some freelance work for the military newspaper overseas, and I've just kept it up ever since. I've always seemed to have a camera and uh, been taking pictures and taking photography classes, and now I teach photography here in the studio. That's awesome. That is awesome. So if I Google Skip um, and Stripes, will I find some of your archived photos? You might. You oh, might find that's them. exciting. I've, I've been that meaning to be dig some out because I know I've got some kicking around the house somewhere. I've been meaning to get them out. It was a, the Stars and Stripes news, yeah. Stars and Stripes newspaper in Europe. That is awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So tell me, what kind of services do you guys offer here in SMB Photography? Well, we... Uh, we love doing families and kids, and we do seniors, and uh, uh, I seniors. do some, okay. we do some yeah. sports. Uh, we do events. We've done a few weddings. 
but we we've done several events for people so uh any any photography need we we'll, we'll get into it we did some uh, product photography in there not too long ago oh that's nice for, so, corbin. Uh, for corbin which is the beachy bowl um surf shop here in pagosin so awesome so i am wondering do you do just studio or do you do outside the studio as well we do uh either way uh we went up to williamsburg a couple of weeks ago and did a family that uh, interesting family they came they came from around the world for christmas Mm -hmm. Wow! And, uh, literally around the world because I think one family was from Norway mm -hmm. and they came here to stay with their dad for Christmas and we went out in the field and took some family photos of them so that's that incredible pretty interesting so we will go to you if you don't want to come to us yeah that's awesome okay so I like to always end um, our interviews with asking what is hands down your most memorable experience with your clients since you've done photography I'd have to say, I have to say Santa was right up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Having Santa here. Having Santa here. The, uh, uh, our, one of our latest, uh, one of our latest experiences was having Santa here in the studio. The kids were just awesome. I, you've heard horror stories of crying children yes. and, and yes. not one crying child. Oh. They were just so sweet. And they I bet were, it felt like it was filled with magic. Like oh, the it was. Whole area. It was. Yeah. It, it just seemed like when they walked in here, Skip and Santa were just, oh. they, they were just adorable, really. The, the kids were just, it, it was wonderful. That is awesome. So many local, I mean, really local kids. We got to know some of the local people and the, the kids were just, they were, there were so many cute kids. Just precious. Like I said, not one crying child. No, that is amazing. And I think that time of year, it's just filled with so much magic. And um, for those of you who don't know, we do have three teenage sons. So I'm starting to feel like the magic is dwindling in my house since nobody <laughs> believes in Santa anymore. Um, but to be surrounded by so much joy and just, they're just so magical at that yeah. age that yes. you miss it once you're out of that life stage. You really do. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. But, but Santa Santa was magic. He yeah, really was. I bet it was. They were showing him their books. They were showing him. Some of them actually brought little things to show him. Oh. Yeah, to, to, to share with Santa. That's heartwarming. And they each, they every every child got a candy cane and a Christmas ornament. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. No, I love that. Skip, what was yours? It well, can't be Santa, by the way. No, it's not, it's not definitely not Santa. I guess the thing I remember, one of the things I remember about every year there's a project that a, a photographer named Jeremy Coward started uh, on the first Saturday of December. Uh, photographers from around the world take pictures of people who can't afford to have their pictures taken. Right. Oh, wow. And uh, it still goes on. I did it for many, many years. And one year there was a, boy, a brother and sister to come in to get their picture taken. And I found out they had been separated at birth. I took the first picture of them ever together. Yeah. It, was just, oh my God. it was heartwarming to do yeah, something like that. Yeah. It really was. And I always remember that. Yeah. The first picture. And they were, they were both, one of them was a college student. And the other one was about, they were about the same age. And uh, that's the first picture they'd ever had of the two of them together. His wow. brother and sister. Yeah. And he got to so, take it. Yeah. It, that is just, yeah. that like breaks your heart. And I think yeah. that's what's so magical about photography right is that you're not just capturing families you're capturing people's lives you, yep. your superpower is that you freeze time yes 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 yeah. exactly and so i just i can't imagine the moments that you get to share with families and people and how um how much that fills your cup that's my favorite yeah. thing is like, yes it, what is filling my cup today yeah, that that is why we we're so in favor of family photos we love to take family yeah photos. Because, let's face it, you never know when that family will ever be together again, ever. Right. Yeah. You know, that's absolutely so, true. So uh, you got to capture that. You know, we tell people all the time, you've got to get those family photos done. You've got three kids. You know, how long are they going to be with you? You know, you got to grab them me. and bring Skip, them in here me. and get yes. a picture and capture the images of them. I'm, I'm in favor of people taking pictures of once a year of their family. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and you can watch them grow too. So. Yes, and how much we change. Yep. in a year, especially sure. kids. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah.
Well, thank you both so much. Thank this you. was thank this you. definitely filled my cup today, especially being joined by um, Air Force family here, extended family. So I just thank you for your time. Again, uh, we're, we've got Skip and Bonnie with SMB Photography, and I'm Shannon Johnson with Journey Home Realty. If you know a local business or a charity organization that you would like featured on our website, please reach out to us on the website below. Thank you guys so much.